If you own a Windows PC or laptop, this is a really important video for you. After watching this video, you may never have to reinstall Windows again. I see you looking at the title, but trust me, the issue is way deeper and bigger than you think. I myself reinstall Windows in every five to six months. It's like twice a year, maybe more than twice a year because longer I use it slower it becomes and I think finally I have found the problem and maybe the solution too. Just two days ago I was about to reinstall Windows because I had the issue my PC was lagging and uh, but I didn't reinstall because I fixed the problem. Okay here is one really important thing. I don't know if Microsoft is aware of this issue or not. After some times of using the a fresh install of windows at some point maybe two months three months or even like five six months the c drive where we install the windows becomes really really slow so that is the main reason why your pc might be lagging and that was actually the main reason i used to reinstall windows in like every five to six months this is a little program called as SSD benchmark, um, which benchmarks the uh, your hard disks. And this is the sequential read and write speed of my SSD. It's like 500 megabytes per second. Since I have installed a Windows in this drive, the C drive, it won't give me the 500 megabytes per second read and write speed because some of the speed is already being used by the background processes. I do have another similar type of SSD which will actually give me the much better read and write speed because it's not a C drive and nothing is using this drive. Actually my OBS recording is using this drive. C drive is always like a little bit slower than compared to the other drives. Now what I want you guys to do is download this program, the benchmark program, and check your SSDs specs these are the specs of my ssd and it just goes like 500 megabytes read and write speed N not the best one but it is what it is so it might be different for you maybe uh, 1500 megabytes per second or 3000 megabytes per second you know there are different types of ssds i, ha I have the cheapest one and the slowest one uh, but the issue now we are getting into the issue i'm sorry about making this like but you need to actually understand this really well so the problem that was causing me to reinstall windows again was the windows was feeling slow it was actually the c drive which was getting slow and the problem was the write speed of the c drive the ssd where i have installed a windows was way slower than usual it was giving me like 80 to 90 maybe 100 megabytes per second which was causing the disk to go 100 percent usage and whenever i install a program or a game uh, you know my pc used to just you know completely freeze because the disk was at 100 percent because the ssd wasn't running at its full write speed so i don't know why and how or maybe i don't know microsoft knows about this or not but for some reason at some point the write speed of the disk will become slower it's the windows fault microsoft needs to fix this i have been reinstalling the windows ever since like 2015-16 in every uh, five to six months because of this issue it's a huge huge issue i really want you guys to go and download this program and uh, run the uh, benchmark and make sure that your ssd's read and write speed are almost same as it mentioned in the specs i know i could just tell you guys how to fix the 100 percent cpu usage just by showing you guys the fix but you know, I really want people to watch this video because I'm like 100% sure that almost every Windows user gets this problem, but they really don't know how to fix this and they don't know what's actually causing this issue. To be honest, I myself don't know what is causing this issue. The write speed becomes really, really slow in C drive. As far as I know, it doesn't affect the other drives. It only affects the C drive where you have installed the Windows. Okay, I might be repeating myself, but 
here is one more tip for you guys whenever you're installing a program on your pc or a game you know uh, and while the program or game is getting installed if you feel any lag let's say you want to open the file explorer or let's say you want to open the other program if you feel any lag or any delay that's a hundred percent sign of that your disk write speed is broken while the program is still getting installed if you can open the task manager and go to your c drive and check and i'm pretty sure that it the disk will be at 100 percent all right so that's another tip to know if your windows has this issue so now <laughs> let's get into the uh, solution the solution might make you laugh but this is how i fixed it okay i'm just being honest here i have been reinstalling windows in every like five to six months finally i think i don't have to do that anymore i i basically did two things first i went to properties of that c drive all right and then i went to tools and in here i did the optimization i would click on optimization and you can see i did the optimization like a few days ago so basically windows itself automatically optimizes the drive for you by default if you haven't done any settings by default it will automatically optimize the drives weekly by default i never touched this section this is the first time i ever touched this because you know i was looking for the solution and i just optimized the drive and guess what it didn't actually fix the problem what actually fixed the problem was using this program called bleach bit and uh, selecting this option deep scan all of the option okay it will take longer time but i did this i don't know why i did this but at the same exact time after i optimized my drives i did only this deep scan other options are optional whether you want to do it or not but make sure that you do the deep scan or at least what i did actually after doing the deep clean i restarted my pc and i was like let's check the ssd speed again but my drive speed maybe i just need to reinstall the windows i don't know but i was so lucky or maybe this actually fixes the problem i started the you know the test and i was like so happy <laughs> like it actually fixed the problem you know how good this feels to not have to reinstall windows man i, I only i know this all right you know there are many programs many games you need to reinstall and there are many programs settings you need to readjust you know everything it's it's a headache finally this is the first time ever i didn't reinstall windows it wasn't actually the ssd's problem not the hardware problem it's actually the windows problem for some reason maybe windows doesn't optimize the drives correctly or maybe i don't know i i still have absolutely zero idea why this happens but i, I think this is a huge huge issue i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna get this problem again in future whenever i will get this problem again this time i will record from problem to problems solution this time and every time whenever i reinstalled my windows i was actually worried about that i have to reinstall windows and i have to do the changes and whatnot i trust me i did lots of online researches and whatnot i couldn't find anything so i'm just gonna wait for this problem to appear again and gonna do the part two yeah uh, i'm gonna leave you guys in peace please again uh, one more time <laughs> if you have a windows pc just download the benchmark software and check the read and write speed of your ssd right now especially the c drive if your ssd's write speed is slower than usual like it's really really slow that means 
yeah, you, you got that problem. So you need to apply all these um, fixes that I did, like optimize it first, which might fix it, might not fix it. And then use the bleach bit and do the deep cleaning and restart your PC and that might fix the problem. And one more thing, maybe I'm just trying to be smart here by sharing this video. Maybe you are the one who already faced this problem and you know how to fix it much better than me, then please do the comment. All I'm trying to say here is that if you have ever faced a similar issue, share your experience with us in the comments. Did you fix it or did you reinstall it? I'm the stupid guy here who reinstalled Windows in every like five to six months, you know. So <laughs> finally, I think I don't have to do that anymore. So hopefully, yeah, I'm pretty sure I fixed the problem, at least for me. And I really want uh, other people to watch this video, whoever owns the Windows PC, I'm pretty sure that uh, almost every Windows user goes through this problem. Maybe sometime it automatically fixes itself or something like that. I still have zero idea on why this happens and what's the solution. But as far as I know, uh, this is the solution. <laughs> that's it I i'm just gonna stop it right here as i said i'm gonna do a part two where it's going to be from the problem to solution because i'm gonna be careful this time i'm just gonna record it every single step yeah <laughs> that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.